Well, I would say to to to, to Bo, uh, like like, how much faith can I possibly have in you to run this entire country when when uh, twenty questions from a high school dropout sitcom actor appear to be too much to handle for you and your staff? It's like uh, you've had almost two years to deal with this. I wrote them in one hour. And it's like, you know, sorry, but you, sir, are obviously a a coward in a cheap suit. And what? the bottom line, Alex, is I'm still here. His schedule is public knowledge. It's, it's rocket science. This is not. Quit hiding. It's embarrassing, dude. Next subject. I think somebody is running at him right now with a with a with a tape recording of what I just spoke and said they're they're on to us, man. He's back. <laughs> we thought he was dead. Nice try, fellas. Um, anyway, enough of that. Enough of that. They 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 know the score on that. Let's get the more you know contemporary stuff because just you know what's going on and people are so you know uh, mystified by this uh, this 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 odyssey that, that 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 refuses to stop calling itself Charlie Sheen. You know, here's your first pee test. Next one goes in your mouth. No, you won't get high. It's all good. It's all good, guys. Quit panicking. Quit panicking. No panic. No judgment. And you're working out even a couple times a day sometimes. Um, well, yeah, but there's only one time in the gym if you catch my drift, Alex. Uh, <laughs> oh. Whatever. We're not live, are we? No, we're live. Uh Alex, the goddesses, um, let me just say this about the goddesses. I don't believe the term is, uh, is good enough, is good enough, um, but when you're bound by these, uh, these, these, these terrestrial, uh, descriptions, you must use the best choice available, right? Yes. So if you think about it, dude, it's like I'm over three with marriage, uh, with never an excuse, but, but... Like in baseball, the scoreboard doesn't lie, never has. So what, what we all have um, is, a, is a marriage of the heart, of the hearts. Uh, and, I, you know, to, to, to sully, to contaminate or, you know, uh, or radically uh, disrespect this union with a shameful contract is something I will, yeah, you know, leave to the amateurs and the Bible grippers. I don't know, winning, anyone? Rhymes with winning, anyone? Yeah, that would be us. <laughs> Sorry, man. Didn't make the rules. Oops. I am battle-tested bayonets, bro. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I am so tired of pretending like my life isn't perfect and bitching and just winning every second. And I'm not perfect and bitching and just delivering the goods at every freaking turn. Because look what I'm dealing with, man. I'm dealing with fools and trolls. You know, I'm dealing with with soft targets, and it's just. You know, it's it's just strafing runs in my underwear before my first cup of coffee because I don't have time for these clowns. I don't have time for their judgment and their stupidity. And, you know, they lay down with their ugly wives in front of their ugly children and just look at their loser lives. And then they look at me and they say, I can't process it. Well, no, and you never will. Stop trying. Just sit back and enjoy the show. You can kill me, but you, have you the can't. You right to kill me, but you do not have the right to judge me. Boom. That's the whole movie. That's life. That's life. There's, 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 there's nobility in that. There's focus. It's genuine. It's crystalline. It's pure. And it's available to everybody. You just shut your traps and put down your McDonald's, your vaccines, your Russ Weekly, your TMZ, and the rest of it, you know, and focus on something that matters. But you can't focus on things that matter if, 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 if all you've been is asleep for 40 years. Funny how sleep runs with sheep. You know. Anyway, we're getting off topic. No, uh, Charlie. We don't I mean, even have I mean, is a topic? Because we don't care anymore, Alex. We don't care. Is it we fair to talk about this work thing, bro? Let's get to the work business because there's been a lot of speculation, a lot of rumors. Imagine that with the media. If I bring up these these these, these turds, these little hormonculist losers, <laughs> there's, there's no reason to, to 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 then you know bring them back into the fold because I have real fame. They have they have nothing. They have zero. They have they have that night, and I will I will forget about them as uh, as the last image of them exits my beautiful home, and um, and they will get out there and they will sell me, and then they will lose, and they will lose the rest of their lives as they think about me, and my life the rest of their life. So it's just there's no it's again bring me a challenge, somebody bring me a freaking challenge because you know it just ain't there. Winning, but, you know, I'm tired of being told like, oh, you can't talk about that, you can't talk about that. Bull s h i t. Uh, it's got, let me just say this: that it's nothing. Uh, uh, this side of deplorable that a certain Heim Levine, yeah, that's Chuck's real name, uh, mistook this rock star for his own selfish exit strategy, bro. Check it, Alex. I embarrassed him in front of his children and the world by healing at a pace that that his unevolved mind cannot process. Okay, last I checked, Heim, uh, I've spent, I think, close to the last decade, I don't know, effortlessly and magically converting your, your tin cans into pure gold. And the gratitude I get in this 
get is, is this charlatan chose not to do his job, which is to write. Clearly someone who believes he is above the law. Well, you've been warned, dude. Bring it. I just, I'm sorry, man. I got, I got, I got magic, and I got poetry at my fingertips, and I'm, you know, at uh, most of the time, and this is, you know, this includes naps. You know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an F-18, bro, and I will, I will destroy you in the air, and I will, I will, I will deploy my ordinance uh, to the ground. Are you going to announce uh, your new uh, tattoo here on air? Yeah, why not? Because it's just pure, pure and complete gnarlyisms. Um, yeah, I sat with two, uh, hey, coincidence, uh, F-18, the top gun, radical, fire, napalm, dropping pilots in my movie theater watching the attack sequence, that did the chopper attack sequence on the beachhead to go surfing because they wanted to, and those people were in their way. Um, and, I, and I was getting a tattoo during the, 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 the death from above, and it was a, uh, it's the banner from the death card that, that Kilgore is throwing on his victims. But there's also falling from it is the uh, is the apple from the giving tree. There's my life. Deal with it. Oh wait, can't process it. Losers winning. Bye bye. Major League Three and who's going to be in it? Major League Three. I don't know. I haven't read it. I don't care. It's being directed and written by a genius named David Ward, who oh I don't know won the Academy Award at 23 for writing The Sting, um, and it was his pen that 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 and his vision that created the classic that that we know today as Major League. In fact. A lot of people think the movie's called Wild Thing, as they should. Um, but whatever, I um, I agreed to do it. There's just one there's one deal point that uh, that Jim Robinson, a wonderful man, and Morgan Creek, a great company, uh, need to work out. Um, if they want me in it, it's a smash. If they don't, it's a turd that, that opens on a tugboat. Why give an interview when you can leave a warning? You know that it's just not. Um, I'm just not a. I'm not fair game. I'm not a. I'm not a soft target. It's over. There's a new. Uh, there's a new sheriff in town. And he has an army of assassins. Oh, we must speak of the Vatican assassins, yes. <laughs> I, 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 I don't read anything after it comes out because I will not, I will not waste my precious time on, 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 on such ridiculous nonsense. But I understand, according to you, that there was a lot of curiosity about the Vatican assassin. Um, and I'm like, guys, it's right there in the thing. Duh, we work for the Pope. We murder people. We're Vatican assassins. <laughs> How complicated can it be? Oh, my what gosh. They don't, what they're not ready for is guys like you and I and Nails and all the other gnarly Narlingtons in my life um, that we are high priest uh, Vatican assassin warlocks. <laughs> Boom. Print that, people. Let's see where that goes. Brian yeah. Wilson. Uh, hey. <laughs> What was the full quote? You called him, a, you know, just awesome Vatican assassin. Yeah, I did. Yeah, because he's nothing shy of that. And, um, and it, is, it is his job to go out there and embarrass people. Embarrass them. Not just beat them, but embarrass them in the process. And he's, uh, he's, he's, he's as radical as you, as you think he might be. Now, and if, 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 if he chooses to do so, he will stop your heart and he will, he will behead you. And all in service to the Pope. Absolutely. That's what we do. That's what we do. Apocalypse now, my friend. I mean, there's not much you can say other than genius uh, represents life. Apocalypse will teach you how to, how to live inside of a moment between a moment. And that's where life is because, you know, I'm not just, I'm not just, you know, Captain Willard, much as my dad, and I'm, you know, heading up the river to kill another part of me, which is Kurtz. Uh, I am every character in between, save for that little weirdo with his gut strapped in, begging for water. That's not me. But, you know, there are parts of me that are Dennis Hopper, because my, 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 my motto now is you either love or you hate, and you must do so violently. And the reason you must hate violently is because, and you have to hate everybody that's not in your family, because they're there to destroy your family. And they will, and they will come at you in all forms and shapes. And therefore, there's nothing in the middle. I don't live in the middle anymore. That's where you get slaughtered. That's where you get embarrassed in front of the prom queen. And I just, it's just not, it's just not an option. So, you know, within that is 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 tremendous focus and tremendous clarity and tremendous peace because you have absolute and total resolve about your decisions. If you love with violence and you hate with violence, there's nothing that can be questioned. And people say, oh, you know, you've got to work through your resentments. Yeah, no, I'm going to hang on to them, and they're going to fuel my attack. And they're going to fuel the battle cry of my deadly and dangerous secret and silent soldiers, because they're all around you. Anyway, thought you were just messing with one dude. Sorry. Winning.
but I can't use the word sober because that's a term from those people, and um, I'm just I I have cleansed myself. I closed my eyes, and in a, in a, in a nanosecond, I cured myself from this ridiculous model of, of disease and addiction and obsession. It's just it's just the work of sissies. Um, the only thing I'm addicted to right now is winning. You know, uh, the, 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 this the, this bootleg cult. Uh, you know, arrogantly referred to as Alcoholics Anonymous, is, uh, Alex supports a 5% success rate. My success rate is 100%. Do the math. Take, for instance, its founder, a desperate and, I don't know, broken down plagiarist, uh, stayed high on acid until the day he died. I can't seem to find that chapter in his silly book of lies. And then, Alex, try to get your mind around this as a, as a fellow warrior deep in the trenches. Um, their entire manifesto is built upon a complete and total surrender, or the concept of complete and total surrender. They urge you to put down your sword and come join the winners. Uh, in 22 years, the only winners I could locate in their toothless warren were either driving a convertible van or living like trolls under some abandoned bridge. Another one of their stupid mottos, Alex, is uh, don't be special, be one of us. Newsflash, I am special, and I will never be one of you. There it is. You sound like Thomas Jefferson. Well, I'm not Thomas Jefferson. He was a pussy. <laughs> um, no, but I, but, I, but I dare anyone to debate me on things. Debate me on AA right now. I have a disease? Bullshit. I cured it with my brain, with my mind. I'm cured. I'm done. Well, we all have to sit in here and, and touch ourselves and frown. Well, you know, you don't look like you're having a lot of fun. I'm going to hang out with these two smoking hotties and fly privately around the world. You know, it might be lonely up here, but I sure like the view, Alex.